40. I read in some uh, international interview that one of the um, uh, points that you, you were kind of blocked uh, in a creative um, sense is because you had like with the former manager of the band like kind of artificial meetings with uh, other composers that were not connecting with you but at the end you could uh, release some catchy songs like, like end of night can't believe it's not a single yet um no i mean you know those I mean, it wasn't that we we didn't 100% kind of enjoy it. I mean, there were certain asp aspects that we we did. Um, we loved working with Sasha Skarbek um, and and Florian Reuter, um, but it, we ended up with this album that we came at it from the wrong viewpoint. When I say we, our management and record came, company came at it with the wrong viewpoint, which was let's find the modern hit single. We've never gone in search of a single in our entire careers. We've only ever gone in search of making a good album. And that's where the album format comes in. And we're still fans of the album format. And no coincidence, this album is, you know, 43 minutes in length and is perfect for side one and side two of a vinyl album. Um, well, it is a coincidence, actually. We didn't really plan it that way, but it worked that way. And, and once we'd come Once we'd gone through all that and realized we had, you know, maybe 20 half-hearted in our, from our viewpoint, because we weren't particularly into it, half-hearted attempts at making a hit single. Some of the songs were good, but most of the recordings weren't. Um, that we realized this is not us. It's, it's a little slightly dishonest. Um, it's us attempting to be something we're not, you know, we are you know, now 60 years old. We are who we are, we, we can't be that. And once we'd, you know, understood that and understood the fact that we really are a band that makes albums. Um, and once we'd lost our management and lost the record company and were left just the two of us, and the two of us decided we'd like to finish this album, we didn't say we'd like to continue in our search for a hit single. We decided we'd like to finish an album, an album project. And once we did that, and then went back to the old recordings and decided five of the, the songs and the subject matter and the songs themselves, we liked um, and we felt were going to be part of the story. We kept those. We then had to extrapolate on that and, and finish the rest of the album that fit in with that story. Once we got to that point and understanding that, it was actually a really easy process. <laughs> you both... Uh have known each other since you were kids. You did great songs over this more than 40 years together and not always together. Um, I would like you to describe the best and worst of your body, if possible. Well, I mean, I mean, I think the best and worst of us can be summed up in, in one word, is that we're very similar. <laughs> we, have, we have a similar history. Um, we have a similar background. Um, we are very opinionated. Um, We're very driven, and therein comes the joy of it and the battle of it, which is, you know, if those things don't mesh, we're gonna butt heads. We, we just are, because we're very opinionated. So, so if we don't agree on things, you got two opinionated people disagreeing on things. Again, you know, you go back to the tipping point and left and right wing media say, they're just two highly opinionated things and some you want something in the middle. And what we find is the best of Tears for Fears is when we meet in the middle. Um, so yeah, I, I would guess the strength of us and the weakness of us and the things I hate and like the most are the fact that we are very similar. Well, Kurt's, Kurt's weakness is my strength and my weakness is Kurt's strength. In, in May 22, uh, starting the world tour, um, are you visiting Europe after the American gigs? Spain, any, any Spanish memories to share? Oh, well, you know, come on, Spain. For me, mi nombre es Orzabal de Quintana. You know, I mean, come on. I, we, 
so many great memories of Spain. Um, even when we, uh, even when we did uh, Night of the Proms down there with the orchestra, even that was great in Spain. There's a, there's a kind of special relationship. Um, we, we, there are no plans right now. I, I guess we have to sort of, um, we have to see how the whole quarantine, the COVID restrictions open up. I mean, we've kind of, we're, we're, we're stopping them now in, in England. Um, in fact, around about February 24, just in time for the album release, mm. Boris Johnson is going to cease all restrictions because he's a big Tears for Fears fan. <laughs> um, and uh, Denmark have ceased, uh, you know, are no longer treat, it's, uh, ceasing restrictions. So we're just waiting for the rest of Europe to catch up to these more progressive and liberal countries. Yeah, uh, or, or for sure. Facetiousness aside, um, yeah, we c we can't plan any more than we've planned so far um, because we don't really know what's happening with the pandemic. So, um, you know, we know we can play in America. We know we can play in the UK. Uh, we hope, you know, that continues. Um, we hope we get to come back to Spain again. We, we've all, always had a wonderful time there. Um, so, you know, hopefully all of this stuff will end and restrictions will cease and we can uh, play and go to more places. <laughs> <laughs>